At least you won't have to find your fishing spots like we used to. And that was flying one of these with a stick between your knees while you were trying to write off uh, Loran numbers as they scrolled off the screen uh, through the late 70s, 80s, early 90s I was out there. When I wasn't out west, I was in, a, in an airplane. I was a commercial pilot. And... Uh, I did some con subcontract work for the state of Florida, finding sites, wrecks, reefs, what, what have you. But uh, at any point, at any rate, we'll, uh, this film I'm going to show you how to find your own sites, get your own GPS number for them, so you're not uh, trapped into using information that uh, somebody else either gives you or they want you to have the public reefs and so we'll go over how you find what you're looking for when you're looking for a wreck or if you're looking for a, uh, a reef spot for grouper what does a grouper spot look like what does a regular reef look like that sort of thing um, today you have uh, Google mapping system and you have all kinds of conversion systems so um, you should be good to go once you know what to look for. All right, welcome to uh, Google Maps. I'm using this with permission. In this corner over here, we're going to click Satellite. Now let's now let's say that we want to um, find a 1700s galleon wreck with gold, silver, the whole bit, you know, jewels. Who wouldn't? Well, what are we looking for? Well, in these old wreck sites, this is a ballast pile. These are the river rock, round river rock. And you notice that they're in a straight line. Even after having been salvaged thoroughly, everything's in a straight line. Okay? Nature doesn't do straight lines very well. So anytime we're, we've got a number for something, uh, something comes out, you come across some information, uh, and you go out to look for it on Google, on, you know, the same way we would do with the airplane, we're looking for straight lines. No matter whether it's an old wreck, new wreck, what wreck, doesn't matter. We're always looking for things to line up. Okay? Now... This is actually the outside of the ship, but it's lining up fairly straight, even, you know, after all that period of time and everybody's been salvaging it. A lot of people have, a lot of you have uh, been diving on this wreck. This is actually the San Pedro down in the Keys. That's what it looks like. All right, let's say it's World War II. We're trucking along in our B-17, and uh, by golly, there's some fish we need to bomb because that's what they told us to do back at the base for practice. What does a bomb hole look like? Well, here's boom, 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 boom. They're in straight lines. Now, I'm going to, in World War II, they just bombed the heck out of the offshore areas both coasts of Florida and especially on the uh, on the Gulf Coast you can find these holes and the importance of that usually you've got big fish in those holes now um, because it blasted it down to the lime rock you'll find you know when when guys are going looking for inshore grouper in our part of the world or big reef fish this is how you find them inshore looking for bomb holes now, 
let me uh, zoom you in can you see it now round 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 and it's in a straight line again they were doing a pretty good job bombing zoom you in a little bit you can clearly see the bomb hole all right all right let's look for some uh, reef fish in our area that's grouper snapper things like that um, inshore you know in the winter time they come inshore and uh, we can if you if you know what you're looking for in a grouper rock you don't have to zoom out there at 30 miles and burn all that gas so what are we looking for in uh, in grouper grouper ground? Do you see anything uh, strikes your fancy here? Anything interesting to you? Let's see. Let's zoom in and uh, take a look. All right, I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for rocks that have a ring out around them, like that, like this up here. This area, and this whole area in here, it's got a ring around it, a ring of white sand. Okay, why am I looking for that? Because that denotes a lot of current movement and it's scooping out sand, gives them areas to spawn in, fish to spawn in, gets them down to where the, the worm level is, you know, the worms are and all the grubs and all the stuff. And there's probably passages underneath this rock right here. That's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for grouper ground out here. Now we've got a we've got some kind of hard reef right here. We've got some scattered rocks right in here. Any, any of these could be marked. But this would be prime time location in, in and around right in here because I know the current is really moving. Okay, scooping out sand. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. All right, what's a regular reef look like? Well, this is one here and on Google is kind of good because if it looks shallow, it probably is. And you can see this is a regular reef called uh, Gomez Rock. Let's zoom into it. All right, you can learn a lot of things by flying over the Gulf. I mean, uh, this is Gomez Rock in, in my neck of the world. Everybody knows about it. It's good for trout, redfish, um, you know, but you can't catch a fish that's already been caught and, you know, literally hundreds of people fish here and uh, they're usually set up out here in this deep area here's the spine of the reef coming around right here and you kind of sneak in and then you know any number of them now the next world record tarpon is probably coming on the other side that nobody fishes right in here and um, I'll just give you a quickie and I'm just going to grab the map, come down, see what you could see is that further south of the rock, we've got another reef system back here that's actually better fishing. But these are things you can learn by just kind of grabbing the Google map and uh, flying over ground and, and marking stuff. Off of Gomez, something I'd be interested in today if I was flying. See this? Well, nature rarely does things in a perfectly round cylinder like that. I mean, I'd be investigating that today. See what that is. And I could mark that. Just come over here, click it. Gives me a little clicky box down here with a number. Type in GPS number converter 
into your search engine and you're going to come up with any number of GPS websites to convert the number that you see on the screen into anything you want. Alright, for those of you who are remaining, I'm going to give you a real gift today. I'm going to give you the coordinate for the first peak of my personal chartering grounds offshore. Now this is a three mile area and it has reefs running north and south and if you can't catch fish here uh, you should take up putt-putt golf or something like that. So the water depth is going to be 22 feet and I'm going to throw in a brief break here, a brief commercial, give you a chance to go run and get some paper and a pen because you're going to want to know this. This is your reward for sticking with it. Alright, thanks for staying with us and uh, tell you where we're at. We are 18.3 miles off Hernando Beach, Florida. The water depth is 22 feet and the coordinate for this rock, this is right in the very middle of the eastern section that is 28 34 8 38 west coordinate is 82 59 4 8 0 from this rock you're going to be able no matter who's on this rock if you get out there you know you get out there second because people are going to be charging out this rock here there are many thousands of peaks all scattered through here four to five feet tremendous group grouper ground uh, this is the that's some grouper hole. So, thanks for staying with us. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you will too. Because uh, you've got any number of locations out through here now. If you want to go in the offshore area, you can fish. Happy fishing.